Okay, T, if I didn't plant her here, this video is under the law of fair use. I'm Iris Fairweather now. If your content is not in the USA, your laws of copyright do not work here. Finally, we grant it here now if you're 18 or under get out. Definitely want your light here or see it's your time. Chosen one, the game is on. Your people are watching. And play the game and duel with all your honor and might. Now, separate your limits and battle on. Devil Lego, we need you. Hello, everyone. Devin Lionheart, the one true chosen one here of Seed. Now, I've got Cody with me, and we're going to do a little tier list. So I saw somebody uh, talk about Uncertain in Final Fantasy, and honestly, I'm going to be honest with y'all. Yes, the classic Final Fantasy VII is what got me into Final Fantasy in the first place. I will have to say... I'M NOT 50 YEARS OLD! It just bugs me when people just assume your age because you played an old game. But does it necessarily explain that since I played an Atari once, I'm literally 100 years old? Jesus, man, talking about stereotypes of age. Anyways. Uh, maybe that guy better check himself before he wrecks his own channel. So, we're going to start off with Final Fantasy 1, that ain't 1, so 1. Going in the unknown level. The games I have not played are in the unknown level. And, like, I have not played this one. Oh, by the way, this is how we're ranking it. Level unknown. B, level 20. A, level 50. Level 70, S. Levels 100, double S. And then... The top tier is Triple S Level Limiter Broken. That is what my character's potential is. Or me in general. I have no limit. I can keep getting stronger the more and more battles that I face, the more victories, the more experience. I have no end to my level experience and how strong I can get. So, let's continue on. So, two never played two either so like unknown three definitely unknown now this here where's uh that's five so i need four. so four never played it i heard it's a really good game i heard <laughs> and the story's pretty out there but solid I need to play this one once I get, like, the collection on PC or, like, on my PS5. Yes, I recently got a hold of a PS5 and an exclusive skin. I had made, representing the channel and all my characters on it, including the controller with the Cody on it. So, uh, yeah. Maybe I'll show that to y'all one day, but until then, uh, I'd rather keep it behind closed doors. Five. I don't know if I want to play 5, but at the same time, I do and I don't. It, it's, it's a love-hate relationship. Now, 6. Never played it. I want to, though. Not because of the clown thing. Okay? It's just one of the high-regard games by uh, the Fiery Joker. And, like, it's his favorite character it is the main villain, so, uh... So we're going on to 7. So I would have to put 7 at the S tier. Here's why. The original game I love playing. Uh, I even got a hold of the Golden Chocobo. Knights of the Round, I got it fully mastered on my PS1 memory card. I had everything the game to offer. I beat the ruby and emerald, and I didn't need the white, like, materia to beat the emerald weapon. I literally just kept smacking it around until it died, and I only had, like, half a minute left. So, like, 30 seconds about before I defeated it. Talking about pulling a victory out of nowhere. Ruby was kind of easy to beat because my cousin, Samantha, or, like, uh, Teresa, I think it was cousin Teresa, told me the way to beat it. So, of course, you gotta take down the tentacles and knock them out. Then you use Hades. 
to put it to sleep, everything to sleep, and then you just start smacking around with Knights of the Round. You at least have to have Knights of the Round up to three stars to pull it off three times, and then the Ruby weapon is done. It's over. Uh, I will have to say, out of all the weapons, I would have to say Emerald's more tough than Ruby. Ruby has a tough defense, but Emerald's got a time limit. Now, where's 8? Yes, I agree with that one guy. 8 is top tier. Now, we got the remake. Of course, we were cheated out of a proper remake. Because 7, the remake was being made, or the remaster. I will have to say, 8 is one of my favorites. That's why I based this whole channel around Final Fantasy 8. I love the story. Leon uh, is a mixed character, I would have to say. He's more broken than, like, freaking, um, oh, how do you say, uh, a goth. So, he's more of a broken character that didn't have much of a childhood. I could relate. And uh, now, um, Rhinoa, I like her, but when she, like, gets possessed by the sorceress and, like, starts tossing you around with that magic power, it kind of makes you look like a lightweight. Uh... Yeah, this one pretty good. Not the best, but pretty good. Now, where's nine? Oh, right here. So, nine AF. Wait a minute, no, this is nine. Shoot, what am I talking about? Um. I don't know what AF is. Alright. I've never heard of AF. If somebody in the comments can tell me what AF is, uh, I would like to know. This is 6 AF. I don't know what that is, and that bugs the hell out of me. It really does. So, uh, can somebody toss me a bone here? Literally. Moving on. So, we're going with 9. I want to play 9. I have the strategy guide somewhere in my current place of living, or I used to. I need to play it. I have to play it. I heard it's a good game. Got good characters. Some are really wacky characters, though. But overall, I heard it's an all-around good game from the story to the characters to, like, the monsters to the bosses. Everything It's good. So I think I'm going to put it, like, in the... I'm going to cheat since I've never played it. I'm going to put it in the SS level 100 tier. Now, moving on, we got... 10... So, I got the remake of 10, or the remake, yeah, it's the remake, on my PS4. Still have it. Um, never played the original 10. I just don't like, for some reason, the original 10 story that I've heard of. It's just a little bit... Meh. But X2. So, like, a lot of people give this crud because the main cast are girls. Grow up! Girls can fight, too. They literally can. It's just y'all being a bunch of baby boobops and want to keep males as the main role. What the heck is wrong with you people? Grow up. Girls can fight, too. So, I'm literally going to put this in, like... Oh, this is a hard one. I'm gonna keep it at level 100. So like, X2 is a good game. Those who can't accept it, it, that women can like be just as good as men, get the heck off my channel. Now, moving on. Oh, let's see here. 11. Yeah, I've never played it. I don't like the Massive World RPGs versions of 7, so uh, Gonna put this at D20. Moving on to 12 slash Zodiac Age. My favorite game so far of the new games. Uh, love it. Absolutely love it. I've got the Zodiac Age on my PS4 on disc. And like, if I want, I can put it in my PS5. I've got all the invisible weapons. All of them. And if anything, they're overpowered as heck, especially the bow is the hardest one to get. 
Oh, it's hard. But if anything, it's definitely worth it once you get the bow. I keep it just on Fran because, like, she's the bow expert. So, the archery. So, uh, yes, I will literally have to put this at SSS limit. Level limiter broken. One of my favorites. So, we're moving on to the 13. So, the original 13. I like it. I don't necessarily hate it or love it. I like it, so I'm going to keep it at 50. Now, 13-2. I would have to say it's in the same as 13. But the third game with the time limit to beat the story. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, wait a minute. So that was the. Uh, that's the draw that Zodiac Age. No, wait a minute. That's the Game Boy game. Never played it. Um, This is 13. So 13 right here. I don't like that there's a time limit on it. I really don't. To beat the game. I don't like it. It makes it too difficult. You gotta rush through everything. You gotta hope you get everything on the first playthrough that you need to beat the game first time. And then even if you beat the story the first time, that means you gotta redo it to get everything else to get a 100% game time. And there's still a freaking time limit. I do not like this. I do not like this game because you're limited to like the game's timer or the world ends. Do not care for it. Do not like it. 14, same thing as 11. Uh, don't care for it. Really don't. And, like, 15, I have not played. So, like, I don't know what this one is, so I'm just gonna put it in unknown. And there we go. This is my overall tier list, and, like, I hope y'all like it of Final Fantasy games. There is a lot of stuff I haven't played, but stuff I do want to play. So, if anything, I hope y'all enjoyed this little ranking video. I have my own tier list on here of Yu-Gi-Oh! games. So, I'm literally going to save this tier list. Uh... Of course, well, I guess I'll put my channel's name. Y G O G L H seven X four and X. Everything's got to be capitalized. So. And a description. Well, I guess I'll put a. Uh... Oops. Fingers are getting a little shaky. Okay, tier list. Alright. So, uh, save. And we're done. So, follow Devin Lionheart. And this is my Twitter, by the way. So, yeah. Okay, so, if anything, 
Why don't we go to my account? And this is what I made, everyone. So this is every known Yu-Gi-Oh game that was released globally. So yeah, go over there and check out my tier list. It's the first one I ever did, and like, I got one overall super liked. So yeah, somebody liked it. I'm glad they did. And yeah. I had to search all these images from like search uh, engines. So yeah, um, this is globally. So if anything, if you can follow me on my Twitter and like, I also got a Facebook. I guess I can share. Oh, you can share it on the Facebook now. No, that's not Facebook I wanted to go with. But if anything, uh, yeah, my Facebook is Final Fantasy VIII Hero Devin Lionheart. So if anything, go over there to my blogger account on Facebook and support me there. <sighs> Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below. Hit that little bell notification. If you want me to do this in the next tier list video I can do, I'll take a crack at it. But if anything, I'm going to have to change all this up. Because, like, yeah. Pretty basic. So, um. How about as a hashtag, y'all put hashtag Yu-Gi-Oh! tier list. And if I get more than five comments saying hashtag Yu-Gi-Oh! tier list, I will do it. But, as y'all seen, like, most of my Yu-Gi-Oh! videos have been privated for obvious reasons. So, yeah, I'm going to be uploading them to my Patreon, and, like, I'm sorry, but the Yu-Gi-Oh! community is still, like, after my throat. <sighs> doesn't bother me much anymore. It doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother me at all. And who's literally... Hold on a second. Yeah, um, I'm gonna have to go. Somebody's trying to get into my Discord again without my permission. Keep that thing private for a reason. I swear if it's one of Zor Zark's Advocate 3 again, I'm literally gonna bust my shit. <sighs> Goodbye, everyone.